Hello everybody, this is Kiyoshi here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Hasbro Marvel Legends, the Spider-Man No Way Home slash Marvel's Armadillo Bill of Figure Wave, the Doctor Strange figure. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll start with the packaging first. Here we have the standard Marvel Legends packaging. Here we have Spider-Man No Way Home Doctor Strange right here. There's a look of Doctor Strange, very nice. Here's the back. There's seven figures in this wave. You need six figures to build the Armadillo Bill of Figure which is nice. Cool. Let's move the packaging's packaging away. And here we have the Doctor Strange figure and its accessories. Um, first, um, this Doctor Strange does come with the head of the Armadillo Bill of Figure, which is very nice. My friend uh, always, uh, actually already built, built up this Armadillo figure. It looks absolutely amazing. It's huge. It's heavy. It's great. This is the kind of uh, build a figure that I think every Marvel Legend should, should be producing. You know, very nice. And besides the armadillo head, it also comes with two extra pairs of interchangeable hands. Here we have a pair of grabbing hands, a pair of like magical producing kind of hands, and a pair of magical effected hands. Very nice. And um, if you don't consider um, the cape and the eye of Ar Arkhamoto uh, as accessory, that's all this Doctor Strange figure comes with. Cool. I got my figure from um, one of my local hobby shops for 25 bucks, which is really cool. And for the price, I think this figure is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is, in my opinion, the best Doctor Strange figure ever released by Marvel Legends line, period. And um, just look at the likeness to uh, the actor. Um, it's amazing. I think this is like 95% accurate. There were three copies available at my local hobby shop. I dig, dig them through and chose the one that has the best pain apps um do um i do realize uh what are the things that to watch out for is definitely the eye the pain apps on the eyes some eyes looks very a little bit off like you know they either look to the side or one uh, one eye is bigger than the other you know so those are the things you might want to watch out for um yeah other than that i think the rest of the paint apps are, are pretty simple so they can't really mess it up like like that uh, but yeah still i think this is one of the best um um dr strange figures from the marvel legends line in my opinion and uh regardless if it there's flaws or anything like that i give it a 10 out of 10 straightforward um yeah and then uh in terms of the other Articulations are very standard. Uh, the lower half of the body are hindered because of this uh, this skirt piece, um, but it's all right. You know, I I don't plan to, to put my Doctor Strange in any dynamic pose, but if you do want to put him in a dynamic pose or something like that, do remember this is hindered by this robbery piece. And the lower half, I don't know if it's uh, reused. I think it's reused because I do see pins in these um, in these legs. But uh, the arms are painless, so um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think, you know, uh, I understand why they're doing that because these rubbery piece does cover the leg like almost 80%, so you don't really, it doesn't really matter if it's painless or not. But still, it would be nice if, you know, since they're making a better version of the Doctor Strange figure, a new figure, why not just go all the way, right? Painless all the way. That's one thing um, I've gripe about, but uh, it's not a big deal. In terms of displaying or anything, uh, paint app wise, it's a very simple paint app. There's no wash, no nothing. It's blue throughout the figure plus the black boots. It's just simple painted, and the cape is painted in red. There's pa good patterns on it. It's just uh, all red, um, and then there's some brown on the bell and some other silver and browns paint apps for the accessories, which is very nice. You know, um, I think it's very nice looking and. These uh, paint apps are very nice too. I mean, for Marvel Legends, I think the paint apps are actually really cool. And out of um, Komodo, um, it's it's looking cool too. You know, I, but the what's what's the most amazing part about this figure? Definitely the head scope. You know, um, I definitely think uh, this it's almost like a ninety five percent accuracy to how he looks in a movie. You know, Bravo to Hasbro. This is really a really good figure. Um, yeah, and then the effects, the effects are actually connected to one of the pair, uh, the pair of hands that, that it comes. Um, it's non-removable, but um, I don't understand why would people want to remove them anyway. Because if you don't want the effects, you can always use like this pair of hands 
without the magical effects. I think this magical effect does come in handy and really cool because um, this is what Doctor Strange does in a lot of his movie, in a lot of the movies, uh, the scenes. Um, it's those are also one of my favorite scenes from uh, watching Avengers when he create these kind of magical effects. I do wish they they would come with a bit more, you know, more than just these two. Maybe um, the um, the effect they can use for for the boots as well for, for the shoes. Um, you know, under the shoes, like he's stepping on it. Like that kind of effect that would be nice and also i know in the past they've given us those green magical effects I, it would be nice to see those as well and also um you know if they can give us more accessories you know it's for uh dr strange magical effects are definitely the accessories we needed for this figure um it's great it's great that they gave us a pair but uh still if they can give us more um that would be that'd be very nice other than that the cape is removable it's it's connected by a a a a, a piece right here it's it is removable i'm not going to remove it um but yeah um it's it's overall a very nice figure you know it's not the best uh action figure if you want to play with it you know uh, because it does hinder up uh, you know the lower half is definitely hindered and also um the cape does hinder some opposabilities but overall you know if you want to make it simple you know high class kind of move by, uh, for Doctor Strange, it, it's it's doable and it will look just amazing. So yeah, so here is my quick re review on um, the amazing Doctor Strange figure from the Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man No Way Home slash Armadillo Build a Figure Wave. This is an absolutely amazing figure. You can find it at retail price. Definitely pick it up. You will love it. Um, I think this is really really good, uh, good, well quality and well made. Uh, so bravo to Hot Hasbro, bravo that we get this new upgraded Doctor Strange figure. I love it. Um, just a quick comparison with uh, Galgamesh. Galgamesh, it's a, a lot taller. Um, it's almost a head taller than um, Doctor Strange. Uh, again, the proportions, I don't think it's right. <laughs> but uh, that's 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 the way it is. Cool. Yeah. So here is my review. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye bye.